So, just got done watching the president's speech about the border crisis. And I just thought I'd give my thoughts on it. And I don't have too many because his speech, thank God, was incredibly short. Eight minutes long and I didn't think there was anything to it. It just, <laughs> I was bored. Absolutely, just the speech was completely boring. He didn't put any effort into it. Uh, as far as what he put into the speech. And he just kind of sat there with that and spoke, you know, in a monotonic fashion and just snorted at the air. Just, mm, the Mexicans are going to try and kill us. Bringing drugs across the border. More people are dying. They're being killed by them. Ugh. Yeah, so like I said, I don't have too many thoughts. I was kind of surprised by just how boring it was. You'd think this is his big baby. This is the wall. You'd think he'd put some effort into it. You know, like he does with some of his speeches. But he didn't. <laughs> I don't. I think he blew it. I don't think he's convinced more people we need the wall. Uh, but he was able to hold what he's got as far as his supporters. I don't think he lost to me tonight. And the speech, like I said, is just kind of paint by the numbers with him at this, at this, you know, at this point. You know, people from the South, they're going to try and kill us. And they're bringing drugs in. I'm not saying that's not true, that you have illegal aliens who come over here and commit crimes and kill our people, and they bring drugs over, but, you know, Americans kill Americans every fucking day. And then, you know, there's not really, doesn't really seem like there's an effort to uh, curtail that. The endless amount of slaughter in this country. Yeah, I'm talking about gun control. I mean, he'd rather focus on... Uh, Going after one particular group of killers, but not other groups, and not the method that they use. So he can just kind of fuck off <laughs> with this his speech he is. And uh, yeah, that's really all I thought of his speech. I just thought it was boring and didn't make any effort. I mean, if it's at a rally and there are people around, I think that's when he makes the effort. But him sitting in the Oval Office with nothing. Not being able to get, you know, gauge a response to how people like this speech. I just think he was bored and he just went through it as quick as he could so he could get on Twitter and see what people were going to say. And I might as well just talk about the Democratic uh, response because I watched that. That was also very short, less than four minutes, I believe. And they also, no effort. Uh, Speaker Pelosi and Chuck Schumer who's a jury leader, I think it's his title, they just kind of stood there, stiff as a board, and say, you know, same kind of monotonic uh, way of speaking. Trump's bad. He's just using hate and fear to get people to do stuff that he wants. It's like, oh, Jesus, fuck. This is our resistance. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you think, you know, he's such a terrible guy, come on. You know, bring it. See, this guy is an asshole. All he does is, you know, use his fear so he can take money. You know, they didn't even bring it. It's just boring. <laughs> I suppose I should be happy that, the, the, you know, the rhetoric is, you know, so stale. And they're not, you know, blood and guts. Let's spill the other side's blood and guts. But, I mean, <laughs> I just... Oh, I feel so, so sorry for all the people who are affected by this government shutdown because nothing got solved tonight. They are still playing chicken, and now <laughs> they're just kind of idling their vehicles at this point. So, yeah. <laughs>